In this video, I'd like to talk about attending a live event in Microsoft Teams. As an attendee in a Teams live event, you can watch the live event, participate in a moderated QA, but you can't share audio or video. Before watching the live event, there are a few things you'll need to consider. Make sure that your browser allows third-party cookies. Also, make sure that it supports Teams and Microsoft Azure Media Player. Typically, any modern browser that you have is going to work. It could be something like Chrome, Firefox, or Edge, but currently, Safari is not supported. However, if you already have Microsoft Teams, you don't need to view it on the web. If you're a regular Teams user and you have the application installed on your computer, all you need to do is follow the link that was provided. Here's an example of what Samantha has done. She's at mentioned company-wide, which is a team, and she's saying there's a company-wide OneDrive demonstration that all employees are encouraged to attend. Here's the link. This is a great way to communicate with all staff. The link could also be attached to a proper calendar invite. Sometimes you'll see the long link like this, but occasionally people will rename the link, so it's a little more friendly, but either one will work. When you join the Teams live event, you can do so right here within Teams, on the web, or even on your mobile device. I'm going to show you what all three of those scenarios look like. I absolutely could have followed that link that was in the channel, but I clicked on my calendar, and we'll join this way. It really is that quick and easy to join one of these live events. As an attendee, some of the features include leaving the event, and then show or hide this moderated QA. On some live events, this isn't available, and all that means is that the organizer didn't check a box to include this. No questions have been asked yet, but I'm going to click here, type in my name, and ask my question. Putting your name is not required, and I could also post this as anonymous. I'll click send, and then I get a quick response from the moderator. Right now I'm on the tab for my questions, but there's a little circle here that shows me that there's a new one in Featured. The moderator let us know that the event will begin shortly. I'm going to give that a thumbs up. Next, I'm going to click here on the gear. This is a place for me to work with my device settings. These live events don't use the Microsoft Teams audio settings. They use the one in your system's audio. It's very important for you to set this up so that you have a successful event. To check on this or to make any changes, right-click here and open your sound settings. Make any device changes and make adjustments as needed. Next, I can see the live event details. This is a OneDrive demonstration and it's today from 3 to 4. Next, I'll show you how to join from the web. Here I've logged into Teams, and I'm just going to follow the link. Since I was already signed in, it immediately went to the event for me. But what happens if you don't have Teams? This event was actually made public by the organizer, so that means anyone with the link can join. Since Teams is installed on this computer, it'll give you a chance to open it. You could download the Windows app if you don't have it, or you can watch the live event on the web. The attendee could sign in or join anonymously. You could also join using your mobile device. Here's an example. We can see that the live event hasn't started, and we do have access to that moderated QA. Now we can see that the event has started. Right now, I'm viewing this in Teams. This is what it looks like in the browser, and this is what it looks like on a mobile device. On the bottom left, we can pause, we can adjust the volume, we can see this indicator right here that it's live, and if you'd like to, you can skip right to the live portion. There is a 10 to 20 second delay between what the producers are sharing and what we actually see. The benefit to that is that our viewing experience is very much like DVR or on-demand. Attendees won't notice a delay, but that allows the video in the background to give us that great experience. Also, let's say you arrive late, or you need to view it later on. You can press play and very easily skip around. Here we can see how long the event has been going on, but we can also see where we are in the presentation. On the bottom right, we can click here to toggle subtitles on or off, and you can click here on the gear to access some of the settings. You can change your playback speed to speed it up or slow it down. We can change our subtitle settings. And we can also adjust the quality of this stream. This button allows us to go full screen or fit right within Teams. 
This is the experience from a mobile device. You can see the live event, and again, you can always click here and participate in that moderated QA. Once the live event is over, you can always watch the recording later on using the same link, as long as the organizer chose to make this available. Once I'm all done, I'll choose Leave. And remember, at any time, we can follow the link and watch the event on demand. There's a chance that the event team has closed the Q&A, but if it's open, you can still ask a question. It just won't be live. Most likely, the Q&A moderators will be checking this periodically, but remember, they can always close it. You'll still be able to see past questions. You just can't ask a new one. And that is how easy it is to attend a live event in Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more quick tips on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams. If you'd like to see more in-depth videos or perhaps would like customized training on Microsoft 365 applications, please check out our website at www.knowledgewave.com. The KnowledgeWave Learning Site offers access to thousands of on-demand videos and trainings that are constantly updated to address all of the newest features that Microsoft has to offer. Visit our site or call us today to learn more.